Hello. Hello. Welcome to Pi Talk. Pi Talk. That no. I can we do that over? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Let's just keep going. Let's go. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> We just, we just have, have to, to do, do it. it. Okay. Right. Okay, we've got a big show ahead of us, right? This is our well, it's, it's our first one. This is our first episode. It's our first episode. <laughs> I guess I guess we should in in light of this being our first episode, maybe we should talk about what this is. Yeah. And what we want it uh-huh. to be, how we got the idea. Yeah. So my name's Scott. My name's Val. And we work together at a pizzeria. And Well, we talk about pizza and we giggle a lot and it yeah. kind of reminded us of something uh car talk yeah what was it even did we even think of it or I was have someone no else idea. i feel like someone else in the kitchen someone was maybe like you guys that. sound like you all are just guys nerdy, on car talk. nerdy pizza car talk people yeah exactly and, and we then... were like <laughs> <laughs> Right? Am I right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, and we got the, yeah, okay. Pie so, Talk. Pie Talk Pizza Cast. Um, uh, talk about pizza. We talk about pizza. Be funny, giggle. Yeah. The whole time. Because that's what uh-huh. Car Talk is. Yeah. Like, 90% of that show is just those two guys laughing. Yeah. But then they also talk about cars and get into it. Uh-huh. And it's awesome. Much like we are planning to do with pizza. Yeah, totally. And in the spirit of car talk, we intend to also field technical questions about pizza. Uh Uh-huh. But there's also, uh, we can go a little further with it too, like reviewing new pizza places. Yeah. And uh, talking about things happening in the pizza world. There's a lot of things happening in pizza these days. There's a lot of things happening. Yeah. Do you think that... Do you think that we are kind of experiencing a pizza renaissance? Yeah, yeah. It's right? it's a it's getting a little silly, I think actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> silly like in the way that we love to be silly or silly like it's just too ridiculous. I think it's getting played. Yeah. This pizza thing is getting played. Really? Do you feel like maybe Show's over. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 1. <laughs> One and done. <laughs> over here at Pie Talk. That's what we like to say. Pizza is played. <laughs> Pizza is over. It's over. <laughs> Welcome to Donut Talk. <laughs> I love donuts. <laughs> donuts are awesome. Donuts we are can get awesome. into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, everyone's. No, pizza's really popular right now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, no, Pizza Renaissance. It's yeah. cool. I support it. But we love pizza. We actually love pizza. Yeah. Like, we cannot help our love for pizza. It's really (laughs) embarrassing. Yeah. (laughs) Like, the people around us who aren't completely immersed in the world of pizza... Yeah. ...sometimes are are a little, like, put off by how much we love pizza. Or, I I mean... Either that or they don't really understand. Or, yeah, they don't understand, or... (laughs) <laughs> they I just mean, think it's really cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what like when when I tell pizza or when I tell people, <laughs> you can tell pizza's on my mind. <laughs> obviously. Uh-huh. But when I tell people like, yeah, I work at a pizza place, like I make pizza for a living. They yeah. uh, usually the first thing they say is, "Oh my god, I love pizza." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah like sure. of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you, you love pizza? Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> and Maybe there's just different kinds of pizza love. Yeah. So we're of the of the camp that loves pizza, loves making it. Uh-huh. We're obsessed with, like, perfecting dough recipes and flavor combinations and, like, cooking methods and... Anything that most people 
don't even think about when it comes to pizza. Yeah. We probably care about the most. All those little things that kind of add up to the bigger picture yeah. of what makes a great pie. Cool. Why don't we just start right into some pizza news. What's happening with pizza? Pizza news. There, There's a freaking pizza cone in Pittsburgh. And pizza cone is a new form of pizza that has everything baked inside of a, well, a cone. I don't so. know if you guys can hear this, but that, that was me face palm. That was a, fa that was a, well, it was a double face palm. Double face palm. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> and <clears throat> there's a, a pizza cone oven. It looks like a, um, a, like a conveyor belt oven that holds cones that bakes Pizza. This is gonna be a new thing. I'm sure uh, uh, Hamilton Beach will come out with uh -huh. a um, pizza cone oven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. get your, get your uh, Christmas appliance gifts in right now because yeah. it's gonna sell out. I bet that you could probably make your own out of um, the like turnstile greeting card racks that you can find in a convenience uh -huh. store, and then the coils of a toaster oven. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So a pizza cone is basically, if you think about like an ice cream cone, the yes. uh, the pizza crust forms a, a conical shape. Uh huh. Conical. Into yeah. which toppings, toppings are scooped. And they're cooked right inside of the cone. <laughs> and. <then> <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous! It's kind of awesome. It's a very portable pizza. I get, I'm into that. But, I mean, really, pizza's already portable. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Yeah, what do you, I mean, it's you get your slice, you, you put it on your paper plate. You get your slice, you fold it up, and you eat it. And that's it. Yeah. And then, yeah, you don't have to worry about gooey toppings, <laughs> stuffing up your nose oh, while you're trying boy. to eat it. Or, yeah. God, I can only imagine the awkwardness actually of eating a really hot gooey cone full of pizza toppings yeah like taking a bite out of like you know yeah pizza burn that you get on the roof of your mouth imagine oh, that like everywhere around your All mouth your, like chin yeah and like nose and stuff speaking of i mean well the biggest thing that stood out to me about the pizza cone people is that when they were being interviewed on the news they said Pizza is no longer flat. <laughs> <laughs> they were redefining pizza to be a three-dimensional shape that you bite into. <laughs> I'm just picturing people all over the world, an infomercial where someone's like, yeah. oh, this pizza, God, it's just so flat. <laughs> <laughs> it just picking has no dimension. A, picking up a piece of pizza and it's just sitting there being all flat. So boring. God, if there's anything I could do to make this pizza better. <laughs> it's pizza cone time. And, and, and come the pizza cone. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah. pizza cone. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess. Uh, we, we'll, we'll we'll find out. Yeah. What next time we're in Pittsburgh, or if we have any listeners in Pittsburgh, or if anyone wants to fashion us a pizza cone oven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by all means. Let us know on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash pie talk. But definitely all of y'all in Squirrel Hill, Pittsburgh. I know some of you are out there. I know a lot of people in Pittsburgh, if you're listening. Uh, tell us about the pizza cone. All right. We all have the internet. Let's look up pizza cone and, Just, and try yeah. to figure this out. What's the place? Was it called? I thought it was pizza cono. Pizza cono. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so Italian. Pizza cone. Check it out. Uh, speaking of flat pizza... Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, have you all heard about the Fatiza? Fatiza. That's how they're, they're pronouncing it. Fatiza by Fletiza. Subway. <laughs> Fatiza. <laughs> Wait, Fatiza or Fatiza? Like uh, we're gonna have to get a sound clip of uh, Will Ferrell and Elf going Francisco. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you'll hear it after I play the sound clip. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pretend like I just played it and then laugh. Francisco. Francisco. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's good. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. I mean, I'm mostly just laughing at that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um. So, uh, the subway flatiza. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, tell me about the subway flatiza. What is it? Well, it's a f- the idea is it's a flatbread, a square flatbread, um, that's baked in their subway ovens, and it takes like. 30 seconds, maybe. <laughs> wow. I, don't know. I mean, by Neapolitan standards, that's an amazing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, are, know. They, are they using zero zero flour? And uh... <laughs> I don't think they're using any flour. <laughs> I don't think there's anything natural about this product. Uh, it's extra finely milled cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But, um, so you stick this thing in the oven for thirty seconds. So it's, Wait, yeah. but oh, but you you can have it your way, right? Okay. So I think they have four menu items that you can customize. Only four know. toppings. Well, no, like four specialty pieces. Oh, okay. okay. You know? Like a meatball. And then they have all of their sub toppings, like you can whatever you want on it. Can I put the sweet onion chicken teriyaki on a flatiza? See, I don't know. We have to we have to find this out. Yeah. How much Italian dressing soaked iceberg lettuce we want on yeah, it. Yeah, totally. And uh, yeah. I wonder too if they if this uh, sandwich artist slash flatiza artists now they you know it's two it's two genre. Oh of yeah, product yeah. That they're working on. They've got they've yeah. got a couple artists going on now. Um. So I wonder if the flatiza artists have the uh, authority to determine like. If you do want shredded iceberg lettuce with dressing and stuff, like, does that go on after the bake? Or are they just going to throw all that <laughs> shit on there They're like, and bake it for 30 seconds? This sounds really dumb, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting, like, the cho- chocolate chip cookie right on it. <laughs> Slam the door. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but we're going to try one soon. Let's do it. We'll, we'll take one for the team. Yeah. Nice. Do you want to just go do it right now? Like right now? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Let's, we're going to go, okay, we're going to go to Subway. There's one near High Talk Studios. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a Subway not far from High Talk Studios. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're, we're going to go, let's go try this. Let's go try let's it. Let's go do it. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you lock your phone and put it in your pocket? I don't know. Oh, it's... Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, it smells like Subway. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Hi. Hey. Do you guys have platizos? Do you actually like platizos? Um... Why well, we I haven't have... tried them yeah, yet. Yeah, we want to try it. Yeah. What do you think of it? About it. There's a pizzeria across the street. Uh, pizza. How do yeah, you yeah. how do you pronounce it? Flatiza. Flatiza. Yeah. Okay. Not f- okay. I was saying flatiza earlier. Wait. Flat. It's flatiza. But flat. Flatiza. Flatiza. Flat. Flat. Okay. Pizzas. Yeah. Flatiza. Okay. All right. During the break, we went to a uh, subway sandwich restaurant. <laughs> in the <laughs> near vicinity of Pie Talk Studios, Studios to try out the uh, all new Flatiza. Flatiza, not Flatiza. I was saying Flatiza earlier. Right. I was corrected. It's Flatiza. You have to be sure to pronounce the flat. Yeah, that's what they're emphasizing. It's and it's flat. important to distinguish the Flatiza mm-hmm. from the pizza cone. Which is interesting because the pizza cone people really want you to know how boring. Pizza is when it's flat, right. whereas Subway wants you to know how flat their pizza actually is. <laughs> yeah. This, yo, if yo, you didn't it's know, not a flatiza. this it's pizza a flat is flat. Pizza. flat. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little, I feel there's a little battle going on yeah, yeah. between the the local Squirrel Hill Pizza Kono, pizza Kono. and Subway's flatness. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, and this is just a typical case of a uh, national corporation, you know, <laughs> yeah. and their larger influence uh-huh. competing with, you know, the small time. Uh, yeah, it's... You know, trying to do their thing and, and redefine pizza as we know it. Right. And we're going to see who wins. This is going to be yeah, an all-out yeah. battle. <laughs> this, is, this is the first part of the battle. We, we still have to get the, the cone on. But, yeah, that's true. But that's uh, true. the the flat teaser. 
All right. So let's take a look at it. All right. <laughs> it's uh, it's a it's a flat pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, but it's it's I don't know. It's more flat than any other pizza. I feel like. Yeah. Well, maybe Should it we... is in that there's no there's no leavening at all to it. Yeah. <laughs> so the guy puts the thing. Uh, what was his name? Cor oh, Corky. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So uh, Corky, the flat pizza artist, um, he when we ordered it, he pulls out from the sand, the like bread cabinet. Mm -hmm. uh, he pulls out this six inch square of uh, like. What is it? What? it like a like a par cooked like pita. Uh, it, it's or a not... yeah, like a peanut flatbread. I yeah. mean, they're, they're gonna call it flatbread. So yeah, yeah, we might as well call it flatbread. Okay, it's a it's, flatbread. It's a six inch square flatbread. Okay, and it's about what would you say, a quarter inch thick or thick? so? Yeah. Um. It's so we're picking up. We're looking at the slices here. I'm seeing very minimal charring, <laughs> especially for a 35 they're... second bake. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <It's>, oh! <laughs> my Batista fell over. What, yeah, what just happened there is that the rubbery, cheesy layer, which is holding some of the uh, top toppings together, separated it totally from separated. the crust, saucy pepperoni layer okay, so... and flopped off of the slice backwards. So be careful, uh, be careful. all you folks out there listening, when uh -huh. you're eating your flatiza. Uh, especially if you stack it with the maximum suggested three toppings. Which which we did. Can we, for additional toppings, can we add, could you add like anything? We, yeah, we normally tell people three is like the max because after that it disrupts how it is actually cooked. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, max of three toppings, huh? Yeah. And, and um, so to get back to our, our Flatiza offering, we... Um, Flatiza. Flatiza. <laughs> <laughs> It's so unnatural. <laughs> I mean, flatiza already. It's, it's a pizza. It's like a. It's a pizza. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So flatiza. Yeah. Um. So we got the pepperoni. Wow, that pepperoni is huge. I guess it's it's for sandwiches too. So sandwich pepperoni. Yeah. Can, Can you, you put? I actually we cut them up before we put them. On. Oh really? Oh. oh, so there's a, that's a pepperoni you put on the subs, and then you cut it for the flatiza. Yep. If I were to put it on a flatiza. Flatiza. And we added on to it red onion, spinach, and jalapenos. Yep. And because this pizza cooks so fast, it, he set it for 35 seconds. Yeah. Well, he and he was cooking it for extra time. He was cooking it for extra time because, <laughs> because of our top, because we put raw spinach on it, and, you know, you want it to wilt down a little bit, and also... Yeah. Well, um, also because he piled, like... He piled... Probably a total of... two. I'm going to say two and a half cups of shredded cheese. We're not kidding. It, we... The first time he added cheese to it, we were like, whoa, you usually put that much cheese on it? He's like, well, actually, I usually put a lot more. <laughs> this is yeah. how much... And he goes, he goes, actually... And he pulls out this scoop... He's like, this is how much you're supposed to put on it. Meanwhile, he'd already put more than that on it in the first place. Yeah. Then he pulls out the scoop and he fills that up and then puts that scoop on it too. <laughs> so we got like triple cheese yeah. on our pizza. I, so I wonder, that, that's did, part you, of... <laughs> was he hooking us up or was he like, did he actually just like put some cheese on it? Not thinking think about how much it was. I think he forgot about how much cheese he already and put on it. And then he was it. like, he oh just, yeah, I need to put this oh, much to, cheese on it. And then he, he didn't know how to... Subtract for, yeah, how much he already put on or something. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think he yeah. thought he was hooking us up, so that was very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. And um, I felt like we were getting hooked up. Yeah, he liked us. He was a good guy. Um, so the pizza timer was set for thirty-five seconds. Meanwhile, that was higher than they would normally cook it for. So if you're in a hurry, it sounds like you can get this in like twenty-second bake time. Especially if you know what you want. Like if, if you, you walk have in to know and say, what you want. I want a spicy Italian flatiza. Stat. We didn't know what we wanted. It took yeah. forever. Yeah. <laughs> that was our bad. <laughs> so uh, we got this yeah. spinach, onion, jalapeno, pepper. Uh, now, the toppings on this, because it cooks so fast, we have melted cheese, but totally raw spinach underneath the melted cheese. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Totally raw red onion. Totally raw. Red... <laughs> I don't even that know what else that was a bad idea. <laughs> we should not have gotten <laughs> onions on this pizza. I was I thinking like, oh, kind of like, you know, cook up, like yeah. roast a little bit in the oven like an onion usually does. On maybe, if he'd, maybe if he'd put the toppings on top and a little bit of oil on top of it, it would have wilted. Because what we're what we have here is a low moisture cheese blanket, 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Right? Yes. That is essentially trapping all of the fresh toppings underneath it. I mean, they're just trying, maybe they're, maybe it's on purpose. Maybe they're just trying to keep it eat fresh. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. That's possible. I wonder if they tested for this. Yeah. All right. Should we try it? We should try it. Let's try it. I mean, the cheese is, um, there's a lot of it. Yeah. There's a lot of I cheese. I kind of want to just take off all that cheese. I think I want to go out there and say that the sauce is pretty flavorful. Like that's a decent, just solid, like pizza sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sauce is, sauce is all right. I also think our, our topping combination was pretty good. Like the jalapenos yeah, are working. Yeah, good choice. And he told us that too. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, yeah. What about this crust? What's the deal with it? What's this crust? Here? What is what is this crust? <laughs> now let's let's examine this. Tearing it. What kind of crumb structure do we have here? There is. Oh, it's so tough. There, it's so tough. Oh, it's hard to bite. <laughs> it's like really hard to bite. Yeah. I wonder if it's because they don't sell a whole lot of them. Yeah, maybe. How it's old do you stale? think this crust is? Mm -hmm. I wonder what a really fresh one tastes like. Yeah. Metal loss. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I kind of just sad looking at it is all it is. Yeah. Do you want to, I'm, I'm going to close the box. Let's close the box. All right. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs>